Today on Outside the Box Reviews, we're getting back to the choppa for another Predator Week. And we're starting off with the NECA Predator Jungle Encounter Dutch. So this is the third Dutch we've gotten so far in the series. And as we'd seen from NECA's preview images, Arnold just keeps stripping for us in these figures. We started off with the fully clothed Dutch with this big jacket on and all that stuff. Then we had him with his tank top on, and now we are down to just his vest. Well, and his pants, but, but as the figure keeps stripping down, does it get any better or worse? I guess that's what we're here to find out. These accessories all are shared with the previous Dutch figures. We have his survival knife here. Well done shiny blade, some good detail on the handle itself. I do like this little knife. He doesn't hold it particularly well, but you can get it in his hand, and that's all that really matters. We have Dutch's handgun, which is really nicely detailed. Lots of great paint apps and sculpting detail on there. It's very tiny, but very well done on NECA's part. These figures make me so happy because there is so much paint detail on them, and I have complained in the past about some of the Terminator figures and how they kind of just have one color plastic and there's no real paint detail, and these really look great in the amount of work NECA's put into them. Then of course we have Dutch's rifle, once again looking good. You can kind of see the silver underneath, which looks great. The strap is flexible, you can put it over his shoulder as I had in the beginning. Once again, really well detailed, really nicely made. Happy about these parts. Now on to Dutch himself, I believe this is the same head sculpt we got with the previous Dutch, the non-Stogie version. Very, very similar looking, but the paint apps are different. Same camo on there, but his skin is a little darker. And the way they've painted his eyes, they look almost whiter, more surprised, more terrified. I don't know if this is supposed to be an intentional change to the figure, or if it's just something that kind of was a happy accident. But since this is the version of Dutch where he's actually confronting the Predator, he first sees the Predator, he starts to understand the enormity of the situation he's in, it's kind of cool to have him with that oh crap face. And that's about as oh crap of a face as Dutch ever gets in the movie, and I really dig it. I think it looks good on him. Now the skin tone on this figure, while it still uses that translucent feeling plastic, it's not quite the same as the previous release. If we bring both in, we could see the older Dutch kind of had a tan going on, and this new one's a lot more pale. I kind of like this orangey, bronzish look to Dutch, and I'm kind of upset we didn't get it again, but... They still both look good, and there is still some of that orange hue in this new figure. It's just not as predominant. Another thing we can see right off the bat here as well is that he, while he's wearing the same mold of a vest, it is a different color on this Dutch. Because in the movie they were pretty inconsistent on what color his vest was over the course of it, this time we've gotten pretty much a black vest. This it has some green dry brushing on it to bring out the details, which looks like a similar green to the previous version, but is definitely a much darker looking vest, and it looks pretty darn good. In person, in not so great lighting, it does come off very black. Here with my review lighting, with the naked eye at least, it does look very green, which is kind of interesting. Just goes to show that it might not just be the movie where it's hard to tell what color this vest is. But we have gone from brown to green, and now to black. The sculpt they've done on Arnold's body is amazing. We had the arms before, lots of great muscle detail, veins sticking out, the hands are well detailed, even as his little watch over here on the side. But you can see his bare chest here, and it is pure Arnold. He looks crazy muscular, just like he's gonna kick your butt. We have his belt on here, which is a free-floating piece that has the holster for his gun and for his knife. Same pants we had before, camo pants. We have the butt diaper thing going on. I guess I need to stop ripping on this because I think NECA's going to keep giving it to us because it seems to be working out pretty well for them. But I don't particularly mind it. I just think it's funny that basically the figures have a diaper on. Great sculpting on the pants as always. A lot of great detail. Boots are also very, very nicely done. I love the boots they gave Dutch. And you can actually get this vest off of him. If you put his arms straight up, you can actually very gently lift the vest off of Dutch. And now we can have bare-chested Dutch. This is kind of cool, just as a unique, different way to display him. 
I almost think I might just display this figure like this, seeing as that with the vest on, he's not all that much different than the previous version. This might not be a bad way to show him off, just have pure shirtless Arnold. For articulation, have a ball joint at the neck with a great range of articulation there. Pin socket shoulders, once again, fabulous range. Bends really well at the elbow, rotates. Ball joint at the wrist. Ball joint at his mid torso, a little awkward in shape. I guess they tried to match it to his muscles. Especially back here can be an issue because this is about where the bottom of his vest hits and it can actually get stuck underneath the articulation point. He has a ball joint at his waist. Pin socket legs, forward back out to the side, swivel at the upper leg. Bend and rotate at the knee. Swivel at the ankle. Bend and pivot and rotate at the foot. Overall, NECA has given us another great Dutch figure, but he's kind of unnecessary. Between this one and the tank top version, there's not a whole lot of difference. The same accessories, pretty much the same paint scheme, just a slightly different colored vest and the lack of an undershirt. I think if you are choosing between those two, you could pick whichever one is more aesthetically pleasing to you. I picked up both because, heck, I'm a sucker for it. But I do recommend this figure. He's still a great action figure, great articulation, great posability options. Just not as unique as I'd hope it to be. Make sure you check out Outside the Box Reviews on Facebook. There'll be a link below. Also, if you're watching this video before July 1st, 2013, click the link below to enter the Outside the Box Reviews 1000 Subscribers Contest. All the details will be in a link below. And until next time, this has been another Outside the Box Reviews. And stay tuned because Predator Week continues next time.